video for lesson 58 on my website, Parts of a Circle. This lesson introduces you to some of the basic terminology that we'll use when we talk about circles. Let's take a look at the diagram here. Take a look at the line segment that connects point E and point F. Now I use the word line segment, it's a segment of a line because it has a specific beginning and a specific end. If you hear the word line in geometry, it refers to something that goes on that goes on and on forever infinitely in both directions. So in this case, EF is considered a line segment. Now, in particular, in this circle, line segment EF is considered to be a chord. Now we define chord as a line segment that starts anywhere along the edge of a circle and ends anywhere along the edge, but it does not go through the center just like in this diagram here, and we call that a chord. I notated it here by using the letters EF, the starting point and the ending point, with a straight line on top of it. That's actually the symbol for a line segment, showing that the line has a specific beginning and a specific end. Okay, so EF is called a chord. Make sure that you remember that definition. Now let's look at line segment ADB. So that notation tells us that it starts at point A here, it goes through point D, which is the center of the circle, and it ends at point B. We call that the diameter of a circle. And we call that the diameter, that's a very important term in the world of circles. A diameter is a straight line that goes from one edge of the circle to the other, but it must cross through the center of the circle. So it doesn't have to be horizontal like this. It can be, but any line that starts on an edge cuts through the exact center of the circle, and then comes out the other end and connects with an edge, is called a diameter. Make sure that you remember that. You'll hear it a lot in geometry. Any line that goes through the center of the circle, all the way across. Okay, let's take a look at line segment AD. Now, if you notice with AD, it starts along the edge of the circle, but it stops at the center. And we call that the radius. The radius is basically the distance from the center to any point along the edge of the circle. So you can also see that CD is considered to be a radius because it fits that definition. It starts on the edge and ends at the center. We could have also written DC, just tracing it backwards, that's fine. DB or BD is also a radius. And we could draw an infinite number of other radiuses. Just start at the center and go straight to any edge of the circle. That would be the radius. It's important to make sure that you see that the radius is always exactly half the length of the diameter. Make sure that you see that since the diameter is actually two radiuses put together. So the radius is always going to be half the diameter, and conversely we can say the diameter will always be double the radius in length. Make sure that you see that you'll be using that a lot in geometry calculations. Now, we define the distance around the edge of a circle as the circumference. So remember that term. The circumference is simply the distance around. If we were dealing with a shape that wasn't round like this, we would call the distance around the perimeter. But in the world of circles, we have a special name that you'll hear again and again, and we call it the circumference. So be sure that you remember that. The circumference is the distance around the edge of the circle. Now in later lessons, you'll learn how to actually measure the circumference. It turns out that it involves a special formula because of the fact that it's round. We can't just measure straight edges and add them up. So you'll learn about that later. This is just a basic introduction to terms relating to circles. Make sure that you remember all these terms and that you feel comfortable recognizing them and working with them. In upcoming lessons, we'll do a lot more with circles, doing all sorts of calculations involving geometry and involving these terms. But you'll work with that in upcoming lessons.